anything can be funnier with a bad hairstyle. Just ask this pug. It's Mullet Monday. I have my Bristol board ready, which is just thicker, smooth paper. Get whatever paper you have or you want to draw on. I have colored pencils as well. I'll be inking and doing that. Pretty straightforward stuff. But this little pug is going to be so cute. So draw the cutest puppy face you can. Put some funny hairstyle up top and see where your imagination can go wild. Let's have some fun. We're just gonna get some quick lines on here and see where, uh... <laughs> what might come of this. I don't even know what pug ears look like. Gotta be like, I don't know, some kind of puggy ears. Who knows, it's fuzzy, it's a big fur ball and we're adding fur to this thing. So, you know, who knows? So I put the clock up top, obviously, so you have some sort of idea how long you got if you're going to draw. I'm trying to draw real time with you, so, you know, draw in your own style. You don't have to draw exactly what I draw, but start off with a general hug shape, you know, roundish head, very round, uh, far eyes, kind of buggy eyes and stuff. And then, uh, you know, you draw at your own pace and draw at your own skill level. And everyone draws different. That's the cool part but I'm gonna put on some nice music. I'll check back in and tell you what I'm doing. Maybe we'll give him a little tooth down here. So here comes that bowl cut I promised. Very round, uh, spikes are gonna disappear on the top. And I decided to change it up. Originally I had planned on putting a, uh, some spikes on top, if you saw that, but now I'm gonna change it up and put a bowl because bowls are in. So I'm gonna put a round, goofy, you know, as if you literally put a bowl on your head and cut around before that mullet comes in here in a minute.
the mullet swoops in the back, I keep them pretty wispy, pretty crazy, and loose. And you can draw, you know, draw whatever you want, but remember that a mullet is supposed to look goofus. And it, uh, you know, has long locks in the back, short in the front if you wish to have that. But like I said, no real rules here, just make it uh, fun, you know, have fun. For those of you wondering, I'm just using my ebony art pencil. It's a Prismacolor black ebony. For the inking, I'm using a zebra pen. It uh, actually holds up pretty good to watercolor also, so that it doesn't run when you add water to it. And it just puts down a nice line, depending on your pressure. If you push harder or softer, you can get a real hairline all the way to like, you know, thick lines here, like you'll see on the borders and stuff. But they're pretty versatile. They're pretty versatile.
that a lot of people use different color crayons and you can use you can use crayons or color pencils or whatever you want. I like to use prism color. A lot of these pencils are older than most people watching this video, probably. But um, they just they are soft enough to kind of get blending. And even though I don't blend a lot in this video, uh, if you want to blend it, you can use a blender or a white. And it actually, you know, it mushes the color up pretty good together. And prism color is just what I've always used. So you gotta use it you like, you know, what you have fun with, whatever you're comfortable with. You should use those things. I'm comfortable with these. My color pencil work is just kind of loose in how I like to color. A lot of people like to go in just one direction or they like to, I like to kind of flow with the direction of whatever the fur is or the hair is or um, I generally put a base coat down so that uh, this this golden color is kind of going to be everywhere on the pug. So I put a base coat over the whole thing, and then I come back in and darken it, and darken it, and I add layers, add layers. I treat it like an additive process so that it just gets darker and darker and darker. It's hard to get lighter and lighter. So unless you use an eraser, which you'll see, I do use an eraser sometimes. But um, yeah, it's just my method of doing it. I, I'm pretty sloppy with my pencils, but I still go in the direction. But at the end, I like the direction to look like it's you know, in the direction of the actual hair flow. So this secondary color is going to be a little darker brown. I'm pushing a little harder, getting a little more on top of that base golden color. Just trying to work it in a little more.
this dark brown is a little too dark. It kind of covers his nose, and uh, you know, but I'm just shaping it up. And again, I'm keeping it. Looks like he has a bunch of little mustaches on there, so I thought it was funny. This reddish color I like, so it's kind of a like a burgundy or maroon, and it's not too uh, well. It is kind of crazy, but <laughs> it's uh, I don't know. I wanted it to look kind of silly, so on a pug, I see a lot of people with this color in real life, and I I like this color, but obviously I'm using it. But um, I'm thinking of doing like a blue to red, maybe a purplish overall so this red is kind of the start of the hair this puggy obviously goes to the salon because there's some nice color pops
So this blue is just a sky blue and I'm working it back up into the red so that when it meets, it's gonna make like a purple. This yellow is pretty bold. It's a little brighter than I thought it would be, but I knew I was going to go back over it with some golden fur color with the fawn color of a pug. So I wanted to show up enough underneath. It's probably a little too yellow for me, but eh, what you going to do? It's a little silly drawing, you know?
last things I like to do is put this Posca on. This Posca white and sometimes black, I'll go back over it, but this kind of cleans it up for me because I'm messy. It kind of, uh, you know, gives a little more structure, gets that tooth popping. He has a little front tooth, just like my pug actually did. And uh, good old Mooksy. Now he has a uh, silly looking mullet. Anyways, this is him. Just kind of get those, the Posca helps. Posca just kind of helps lay in those highlights and uh, a little more structure and stuff. So, yeah, this is Mooksy with the mullet. Thanks for drawing, y'all. Well, that about does it for my puggy mullet. Turned out pretty cute. I don't know if it looks like a pug, but it was fun. And he has a little bowl haircut. Hopefully, you like whatever you came up with. And if you want to draw along next Mullet Monday, it's official. Just like and subscribe and hit the notification button. We'll see you the next Mullet Monday, whatever we draw. Thanks for drawing. See you next time. I gotta clean up.